hi guys in this video we will be doing the recall for the INIS INIS exam okay so I have tried to recall the question whichever I get from all the subject so it's around a collection of 50 55 question guys and we will see the important point that can be asked for that question guys not only recall the subsequent question that may be asked further guys okay so let's get started if you are new to the channel guys please like comment share and subscribe to the channel guys let's get started see first of all they they ask a question where they have given a history of yellow exudates from the tonsil guys okay so when you talk about the yellow exudates guys okay so that is most likely a case of tangus disease and tangus disease was in the option guys okay so this tangus disease guys this is due to a b c a one gene defect guys this can be asked as a further question and how do you remember guys remember the tangy orange flavor guys so orange color or yellow orange color that is tangus disease guys now coming on to a question there uh, in the question they gave a history of burnt sugar smell guys okay so you know burnt sugar when you heat the sugar how does that is maple syrup urine disease guys so if you burn syrup what happened it looks like a burnt sugar guys so that is due to deficiency of guys branch chain keto acid dehydrogenase guys okay so what are the some of the abnormal urine odors guys okay so first of all we have phenyl ketonuria guys okay so this phenyl ketonuria you have a musty odor guys maple syrup urine disease that is maple syrup or burnt sugar then you have isovaleric acidemia guys that is sweaty feet guys and multiple carboxylase deficiency that is cat urine now i'll give you the mnemonic to remember the urine order guys okay see first of all you have sweaty feet order guys okay so as if you are sweating in ice guys that is glutaric acidemia or isovaleric acidemia now swimming pool order guys remember the hawk is in the swimming pool that is hawkins urea then you have tomcat order remember that multiple cats are there in the car that is multiple carbox oxalase deficiency guys then boiled cabbage remember that tire is rolling and has crushed a cabbage that is tyrosinemia then guys you have trimethylaminuria guys that has rotten fish so mean in hindi ma, ma, fish also means mean machli that is uh, that is has a rotten fish order if we talk about hypermethanomia that has boiled cabbage order methy means cabbage and green leafy vegetable guys then you you have hopes like urine order that is seen in uh, oast house urine disease guys then mousy or musty order that is seen in phenyl ketonuria guys now the next question that was asked what is the gene mutation in cystic fibrosis so we know cystic uh, fibrosis there is a defect in uh, sweat chloride chair if so it is more than 60 milli equivalent guys so what happens guys there is a mutation at the delta f5 not at 8 position guys so you had option like phenylalanine uh, deletion at 5 not 8 you had tyrosine deletion at 5 not 8 so the answer is delta f not 508 that is the phenylalanine deletion guys okay now coming on to the hmp pathway so they ask what does hmp pathway produces so HMP pathway is the hexose monophosphate pathway. If you have seen my biochemistry rapid division video, I said that it produces NADPH. So this is one of the most important source of NADPH in the body, guys. So this is important. Then, guys, you had a refusum disease. This question was also discussed in biochemistry revision that it is due to the deficiency of enzyme phytanic acid oxidase, guys. So, there is a defect in alpha oxidation of branch chain fatty acid, guys. Okay, and this takes place, guys, in the paroxysome, guys. This is important. So, I you remembered I said that this is associated with, guys, retinitis pigmentosa. It is associated with night blindness and ichthyosis, guys. So, this is important, guys. Okay, see, now it was asked that COVID is detected by all except you know that COVID is, guys, SARS CO. COVID-2 okay so this is basically a RNA virus guys so uh, uh, you you might have remembered this mnemonic I think I said in discuss in biochemistry that northern in northern north, north people eat roti guys in southern west we are south, south people eat more of dosa guys okay so basically this is south is due to uh, south detect DNA virus guys so southern blotting was the answer guys then guys the uh, question was asked in selenocystin this question was also discussed guys so what happens guys this selenocystin this is the 21st amino acid that i discussed guys and this is present in glutathione peroxidase guys this was also discussed if you talk about sirtuin guys okay so this is a question of path that it increases the life spine and it is a histone deacetylase guys okay then the next question was asked of Gotch's disease guys so Gotch's disease was discussed guys and this uh, this is a basically a crumpled tissue paper appearance if you see guys it looks like a tissue paper has been crumpled and placed in front of you then guys you have an image guys okay so basically uh, this uh, this question had a history of umbilicated papule guys okay and you had option like molluscum coelocyte coelocyte is seen in uh, seen in basically human papilloma virus infection so this molluscum contagiosum guys you have a typical history of umbilicated papule on on pressing it guys 
गाइज देर इज अ वाइटिश डिस्चार्ज गाइज ओके सो दिस इज द फोटो दिस सो दिस सोज हैंडरसन पेटरसन बॉडी अदर क्वेश्चन डेट मे बी आज दैट इज वॉट इज द स्पेशल स्टेन गाइज दैट इज नन अदर देन फ्लॉक्स इन टार टार इट स्टेन गाइज दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एम सी क्यू नाउ नाउ गाइज अ क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क You had a picture of a scolex on, and this image was asked, guys. So, uh, so this was the same image that I discussed in my parasitology image revision video, guys. So you can see there is a presence of radial striation that was in tinea, guys. So basically, this is the image of tinea, guys, and uh, tinea is a cystoid, guys. So basically, you have a uh, hexacanth pair of embryo, guys. Uh, so that is so, uh, sorry, guys. So that is basically hexacanth embryo, guys. Okay. See the next question that was asked, which which does not is not transferred by a lymphatic. Basically, they mean to ask that sporotrichid pattern. That is, if uh, lymphatics are involved, guys, sporotrichid like this is the leg and this will be the lesion, guys. Okay, along the line of lymph lymphatics. So, Mycobacterium marinum that causes sw uh, swimming uh, swimming pool granuloma, guys. That is there. Nocardia is there. Sporotrichs is there. But this S aureus, guys, that does not cause. It causes bot botidomycosis, guys. Now, guys, the next question was asked of a papillary carcinoma, guys. Okay, this orphan Annie eye nucleus, guys, that is seen in papillary carcinoma. Okay, because the eyes are blank, the cartoonist forgot to draw the eyes, guys. Okay, now the next question was asked that is uh, diapediasis, that is CD thirty one P cam, guys. Okay, for endovascular invasion, guys. The next question was like a mass the falling, guys. Like what causes what? So, if the anomaly, everyone knows, uh, knows that is lithium, guys. Warfarin causes depressed nasal breeze, that is hypoplasia of the nasal breeze, guys. And thalidomide has been banned, guys, because it causes phocomelia, guys. Now, see the next question that was asked. That was book test for Allah now, guys. Okay. The next question that was asked: How do you measure height in a four year? If you recall, guys, for height we have a formula that is six x uh, into seventy seven, guys. Okay, so if you calculate the height, that comes as one hundred one centimeter. So what next time can be question can be asked: At what age, guys, height of a child doubles at birth? We know that the uh, birth length is forty eight to fifty centimeter, and it get doubled at four year. So they have an option: infantometer, stadiometer. Crown rump length and head circumference, guys. So you know that infantometer is only used for up till less than two years, guys, and it measures the length, guys. And more than two years, guys, it's stadiometer used to measure the height, guys. Now, guys, the next question has been asked uh, where they talked about the optic neuritis, and that is seen in multiple myeloma. This question has also been discussed. There are three type: retro bulbar type, papillar type. Okay, this question has also been discussed in my ophthalmo ophthalmology rapid revision, guys. Then you had the image of a gotten gotten papillary image, guys. This uh, the same uh, image has been discussed, guys. So what are the signs that are seen, guys? You have gotten papillary, you have sol sign, guys. Okay. And uh, so basically, this is very important, guys. This dermatomyositis is one of the favorite question. This time they did not go on, guys, to this um, papillary squamous disorders. Then they ask you which one, uh, which one rash is vascular, guys? Okay. So basically, if you see this uh, rosiola, dengue, and the Zika virus, guys. So Zika uh, only hand and foot mouth disease is uh, basically a uh, vascular rash, guys. And remember one more thing, guys. This is a PYQ, guys. Zika virus can cause microcephaly, guys. The next question, guys, is again from a drama, guys. They showed a person whose image of axilla was shown, guys. This was the image almost, and they said that coral pink to coral red fluorescence is there. So j just to show how the fluorescence look on wood lamps, guys. So they ask you what is the color of the fluorescence wood, sla wood lamp finding, guys. The next question, guys, they ask which is the causes of non-scaring alopecia. If you see Dama rapid revision video, guys, entire table explaining the uh, scaring and non-scaring alopecia has been explained in ninety minutes, guys. Entire Dama. So that is frontal fibrosing alopecia, guys. Now you have fight for our question, guys. How do you remember, guys, this fight for our question? Remember this fight looks like a five, guys, and lepra has five letter, guys. So here also you uh, use five percent H two S four in Gene Nielsen question, guys. So that is in, uh, related to lepra. Pressy guys, now they ask you hemibilismus is caused by a lesion in guys. So hemibilismus is due to subthalamic nuclei lesion guys. Then the next question which they ask you guys, ah uh, that is basically which one is not a olfactory test. So I got this four option. I am not very sure guys. Ah uh, what is the answer of this olfactory test? Then the next question that was asked, ah uh, most common cause of moderate to severe blindness in India. That is cause cataract guys. And you also know we have a Vision 2020 program, guys, which covers cataract, refractive errors, and other things, guys. 
देन वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन सिक्वेल ऑफ कोविड गाइज दैट इज फॉलिकुलर कंजंक्टिवाइटिस दिस इज अ पी वाई क्यू गाइज द लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो सेम क्वेश्चन वॉज आस देन दे आस्क अ इमेज ऑफ हाइपोप्योन गाइज आई एम नॉट श्योर सेम इमेज वॉज देर एंड दे हैड ऑप्शन लाइक हाइपोप्योन हाइपीमा सो वॉट इज हाइपोप्योन गाइज दैट इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ पस हाइपीमा इज बेसिकली प्रेजेंस ऑफ ब्लड सो वॉट इज द कलर गाइज इट लुक्स मोर लाइक वाइट इज टू येलो इज गाइज सो दैट इज पस दैट इज हाइपोप्योन गाइज then the next question that is they ask i am not sure of same image they ask ankyloferon guys that is eyelids get attached to one another guys that is ankyloferon then the next question was related to obg guys that what is the first sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity guys so basically that is loss of loss of guys patellar reflex on knee jerk guys okay so uh, therapeutic monitoring is very important guys because this mgso4 has a narrow therapeutic index guys so we need to monitor it then next question was us small cell cancer if you recall small cell cancer that is basically uh, positive for neuron specific enolase then you have bombesin positive chromogranin positive guys so they had an option chromogranin and p40 and p53 are positive for squamous cell cancer p14 p63 if you recall guys see then you had senile atrophy what does name indicate guys senile atrophy means atrophy due to age that is due to decrease use guys that is senile atrophy then guys this was a match the following question guys this was uh, from radiology you had four images red tail sign you know it's seen in aplasia cardia then string sign guys that is seen in pyloric stenosis string and stenosis then you have inverted umbrella sign guys okay so basically that is seen in tb which is also known as fleschner sign guys this can be asked next time and football sign seen in pneumoperitoneum and necrotizing enterocolitis then you have cd117 guys which is also known as cicket guys which is uh, which is seen in gist what is gist guys that is gastrointestinal stromal tumor then you have a image showing a clima needle guys okay so how to not confuse from clima and sala needle guys so if you see sala needle guys you have a presence of side screw sala side screw but the image asked in the exam did not show side screw guys so it was a clima needle then the next question was asked black scar guys where do you see the presence of black scar with a typical history given guys so you have covid 19 in the infection uh, option malaria rocky mountain spotted fever and the scrub typhus guys so in scrub typhus guys recall what the what points do you recall it is caused by orensia susugamushi if you guys can recall and this is due to a mite guys so uh, basically here you see the presence of black scar guys okay the next question that was asked that was related to oncogenesis of the virus guys if you can recall guys the uh, this exact image was shown there guys okay so basically you have e6 and e7 gene guys so what happened e6 inhibit the p53 and e7 inhibit the rb gene guys so basically this is the cycle that they wanted to ask guys the next question what they ask guys they ask which virus causes antigenic shift we know that influenza is the cause of antigenic shift and antigenic drift for this reason every year we need to develop new influenza vaccine guys so you know that we have for treatment guys we have neuramidase inhibitor guys if you can recall from the pharma guys okay we have drugs like amantadine remantadine guys so if you see the image guys you have hemagglutinin guys if you see guys and you have neuramidase means what was there guys that is the tra treatment for influenza hence this was a question of influenza virus the next question that was asked that is chromoblastomycosis so chromoblastomycosis how do you remember guys remember chrome colored uh, warts on the body guys okay so that uh, that produces sclerotic body also known as medullar body guys also known as copper penny bodies guys and uh, so this were the uh, two option we did, i did not get all the options so not sure of the answer guys then the next question uh, that was asked what is the reason for class switching between igm and igd guys and which property is there that heavy chain remains constant so you had options like somatic hypermutation affinity so that is due to alternate rna splicing then the next question that was asked that is no cardia so we know that no cardia is acid first so no cardia is uh, basically uh, 0.5 to 1% acid first so the answer was gene nelson because for acid first we use gene nelson stain the next question that was asked uh, there was a history of hiv positive individual guys with diarrhea and and there was a uh, there was a, uh, there was a size was mentioned 4 to 6 micron so that is a typical history of cryptosporidium we know we have three organism that is crypto cyclo and iso 
सो क्रिप्टो स्पोरिडियम इफ यू रिमेम्बर दैट इज सर्कुलर आइसो स्पोरिडियम इज सर्कुलर सॉरी साइक्लो इज सर्कुलर एंड आइसो स्पोरियम इज बैरल शेप ओके इफ यू सी द साइज दैट इज फोर टू सिक्स माइक्रोन दैट इज एट टू ट्वेल्व माइक्रोन एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर टू थर्टी सिक्स माइक्रोन सो इट फिट्स इन द साइज ऑफ फोर टू सिक्स माइक्रोन फॉर रिकॉल का इज जस्ट डबल एट फोर का फोर का डबल एट ट्वेल्व का डबल इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो आई थिंक यू कैन रिमेंबर इट्स नॉट सो टफ टू रिमेंबर See the next question that was asked. What is the marker for Hep B and Hep D co-infection? We know that there can be super infection or co-infection. So just refer to the hepatitis wala chart. The next question that was asked: delayed hypersensitivity. If you recall, guys, that is type four hypersensitivity. Okay, so type four hypersensitivity also known as delayed hypersensitivity. If you recall, type four hypersensitivity causes granuloma, and uh and interferon gamma causes granuloma remember like this is very easy gamma causes granuloma so this mnemonic has been frequently repeated by preeti ma'am in her class so it's very easy the next question that was asked this was a image showing the coffee bean appearance if you can recall from your radio or surgery so this coffee bean appearance guys this is a, this is basically a sigmoid uh, volvulus is a medical emergency a surgical emergency in which patient present to the ot so what we do we try to de rotate it so they ask it is is it a large bubble obstruction okay by sigmoid volvulus they ask large bubble obstruction by cecal volvulus large bubble obstruction by fecolith fecolith is basically the impacted stool and a small bowel obstruction due to bowel perforation you you do not see any gas or acid so this is a sigmoid a large bowel obstruction by sigmoid volvulus the next question that they wanted to ask they showed a boot shaped husk with a typical history of cyanosis guys so that is none other than tetralogy of fallot so recall what is there in tetralogy of fallot we have a mnemonic that is p r o v prove p for pulmonary stenosis R for right ventricular hypertrophy, O for overriding of aorta, then V for ventricle septal defect. Guys, I think uh, this makes it easy to remember T O F. The next question that uh, what they ask, guys? They show they showed a uh, photo in which they uh, means uh, the, uh, some of the students or doctors were seen cleaning the legs, guys. So basically, this was a question of filariasis. So if we talk about the levels of prevention, guys, we have primordial, guys, we have primary, guys. we have secondary guys and we have tertiary prevention guys okay so what happens in all the prevention guys primordial prevention means adopting a healthy lifestyle right from the start so that you don't do not develop the disease then you have primary prevention okay that is health promotion and specific protection guys so this is primary then uh, this is also primary and secondary is early diagnosis and treatment now basically she has developed filariasis solid you can see the swollen legs guys so basically we are trying to limit the spread guys that is disability limitation so this is example of tertiary prevention the next question that was asked that was vaccine vial monitor so we uh, we are, i have already talked in my vaccine mnemonic wala video like national immunization schedule how do we give a vaccine so we know that you have a uh, you have a like bigger circle and a smaller square so until that the color of the um, color of this square is lighter than the outer circle you are safe to give the vaccine as soon as it become dark you need to discard the vaccine guys so basically a question related to vvm was asked here The next question that was asked that was markers of Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is a very important topic. That is CD fifteen, CD thirty positive. Then they ask a question on chronic myeloid leukemia where they showed a garden party appearance. So how do I have remembered garden party? So CML I have remembered this is chronic mela. So mela lot of people go guys. So you will have lot of appearance guys. That is garden party. It looks like a party. Then the next question was asked from minimum ANC visit guys. So like uh, I am not sure uh, whether government of India or WHO was asked. If government of India is asked, it's four, and for WHO guys, it's eight. The next question was asked statement for scorpion bite guys. That is prajocin guys, prajocin. The next question was asked that is, ah, uh, where do you uh, means dithylsbestrol causes guys? Remember CD. That is clear cell carcinoma is caused due to dithylsbestrol. This is very important guys. Then you have Keras amplification. That is seen in lung carcinoma. This already has been discussed, guys. Then Prussian pulse, Prussian blue staining is done for iron, guys. And you have a question where ah uh, they ask you about the thromboelastography. This is a must know topic for iron set. Or not for other exam, but for iron set, this is a must know topic. They ask every time, guys. So they ask you answer was platelet, guys. So this way the recall question, guys, which I could collect from the today's iron set exam. If you find it useful, guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay updated for more videos.
थैंक यू गाइज़